Holy Time at Home. Presented by Public Library of Cincinnati and Hamilton County. Hi everyone, I'm Miss Alder and I'm a children's librarian at the main library of the Public Library of Cincinnati and Hamilton County. And I'm here to do story time with you today. Before we start, let's do our welcome song. Can you put your hands up? Good job. Now we're going to wave our hands back and forth while we sing our song. Ready? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? Good job. Now, before we read our story, you might be curious about what this thing next to me is. Hmm, let's investigate. I see some white, looks like a piece of paper. I see some black. I see some green. I see, hmm, <gasps> what? What is that? I see some shadows. That one looks kind of skinny, kind of pointy, kind of creepy. Ooh. Now to find out what it is, we're going to have to read our book. Our book today is called Creepy Carrots with words by Erin Reynolds and pictures by Peter Brown. Wow, there sure are a lot of carrots. Look at that. They all seem pretty normal. Oh, nope. That one's a creepy one. That one's a creepy one. That creepy carrot looks mad. Hmm. Creepy carrots. Jasper Rabbit had a passion for carrots, and the carrots that grew in Krakenhopper Field were the best, fat, crisp, and free for the taking. He pulled some for a morning snack on the way to school. He yanked out a few on his way to Little League practice. He ripped them from the ground on his way home at night. Jasper couldn't get enough carrots until they started following him. Ooh. He first noticed something strange after the big game against the East Valley Hares. Jasper was about to help himself to a victory snack when he heard it. The soft, sinister, thunk, thunk, thunk of creepy carrots. Carrots creeping. He turned, but there was nothing there. Just my imagination, he thought, but he hopped a little faster. That night, as he was brushing his teeth, there they were. Jasper whipped around, but nothing. Oh, yeah, I see a rubber ducky right there. He laughed at himself, picked his toothbrush off the floor, and went to bed, quickly. The next morning, he approached Krakenhopper Field slowly. Doop, 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 doop. He reached for two wild carrots. Nothing happened. He bit into one. Nothing happened. Whew, creepy carrots. It was ridiculous. But when he arrived home that evening, Mom, Mom, Jasper screamed, creepy carrots in the shed. His mom opened the door slowly. There weren't any carrots, not even the regular kind. There are no such things as creepy carrots, Mom said, shaking her head. Later that night, as Jasper lay in bed, he heard it, breathing, terrible carroty breathing. And there, on the wall, <gasps> creepy carrots, he shouted, Dad, Dad. His dad thumped into his bedroom and threw on the light. Oh, no carrot there. They searched under the bed. No creepy carrots. They looked through the closet. No creepy carrots. They opened the dresser drawers. No creepy carrots. 
Just a bad dream, son, his dad said, shaking his head. Now go to sleep. That wasn't going to happen. By the end of the week, Jasper was seeing creepy carrots creeping everywhere. Jasper knew his parents were wrong. Creepy carrots were real and they were coming for him. But they couldn't get him if they couldn't get out. Hmm. Jasper hatched a plan. First thing on Saturday, he grabbed supplies and headed to Krakenhopper Field. Ooh, looks like he's measuring something, he's sawing, he's digging, he's spraying, he's hammering. As the fun sun finally set across Krakenhopper Field, Jasper Rabbit smiled. On his way home, there was no thunk, thunk, thunk. There were no carrot-shaped shadows. His plan had worked. No creepy carrots would ever get out of that carrot patch again. I'd say not. What do you see there? Alligators? And as the sun finally set, the carrots of Krakenhopper Field cheered. Their creepy plan had worked. They were sure of it. Jasper Rabbit would never get into that carrot patch ever again. That is the end of that story. Oh, and it looks like those creepy carrots are pretty happy. I love that book. And if you liked it too, there's another book about Jasper Rabbit called Creepy Pair of Underwear. And you can get both of these books on the Libby app through the library. So you might want to check it out. Before we do our final rhyme, you might be curious about how these creepy carrot shadows appear. Well, this piece of paper is translucent. So that means that sunlight can go through it. So when I put my flashlight behind my carrot, it makes a shadow on the paper and you can see that, that shadow through the paper. You can make shadows other ways too, like this. Do you see my bunny ears? And you'll need to do bunny ears for our last rhyme. Can you do it? Can you put your hands like that? Good job. All right, so here's how this rhyme goes. I saw a little rabbit go hop, hop, hop. I told that little rabbit to stop, stop, stop. She wriggled her ears, crinkled her nose, and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle right down to her toes. Do you want to try again? All right, show me your bunny ears. Okay. I saw a little rabbit go hop, hop, hop. I told that little rabbit to stop, stop, stop. She wriggled her ears, crinkled her nose, and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle right down to her toes. Good job. I'm so glad you came to Storytime today. I'll see you next time. Bye. Get free books in the mail. Sign up today. Go to Ohio Imagination Library. Dot O-R-G to find out more.